Whoa! What is that? What about this? What about this? Whoa! Where's your rook going, buddy? Let's go. Row is rated 1885. I don't think you guys can see that, so. Oh, okay. It's going for like a hippo. I have no idea what I'm going to do. <laughs> Let's just throw the H pawn. Oh, yeah. This is in top level chess, this. This takes a lot of skill. Um. Do I take? I don't think I have to yet. Let's just develop. I think I can take whenever I want, so shouldn't make a difference. Okay. Now I could push. But I can also not push. I can just play my F3. Just defend the center. I think I'm gonna do that. I can't be taking forever here. Because there's no increment, and I am terrible in no increment situations. So I don't know why I chose to do this, but it's done. Okay, I'm gonna take now. Whoa! Really? What about knight here? How are you gonna stop that? My center's still nicely defended. I don't know how he's going to stop my knight from going to e6. My f8 maybe? Yeah. That is ugly. Queen f3. Surely queen f3. We're just going to f2. This is some masterful chess here. I can't guarantee that every game, that's for sure. So, I don't know how he defends F2. Oh, yo! Okay. Um, I didn't mean to click that. That was a mouse slip. Huh. That was a really nice defense, though. Yeah, I don't think this is the end of the world. Because to be fair, the fact that we gave the bishop up for the knight is that we can get a rook to f1 and maybe try and infiltrate with the rook or the knight on f2. Hmm. Rook f1 is tempting. We can also castle kingside. I actually think the castling kingside is a good move. Apart from the fact that it hangs a knight, obviously. So maybe knight f3 first. Not gonna lie, I was about to completely blunder that knight. I, did <laughs> I, I didn't even notice that it was hanging. Oh my god, that's so bad. Okay, so if takes takes, h6 isn't a move because pin. That is a move. I think we can just drop back. We'd also throw in this check, actually. I think I like that. Yeah, let's throw it in. C6 is fine, we can just take it. So it doesn't matter that our queen's under attack. Yeah, as expected. You know what's cool? The cool move is knight e6, attacking the queen. Can't take this bishop's pin. But knight e6, knight e6, queen e6, queen e7. I think we've run out of an attack. Let me think, let me think, let me think. Knight e6, knight e6, queen e6, queen e7. Bishop g7, king d7. There might be something there. Also, bearing in mind, if he goes queen e7, we have knight takes c7 check. So there's that. 
can't take our bishop because our knight takes his queen. So, you know, that's pretty damn good for us. So, yeah, this is looking very good. Very good. But I'm low on time. So, okay, take. Oh, Bishop E7? Really? Huh. I didn't expect that, but it is a move. Although... What if... I take... And I take... And I take... And I just win a pawn. What if I do that? What if I win a pawn? What are you going to do? Gonna leave me with triple pawns. It's valid. It's valid. Now we're gonna castle queen side to put the pressure on, which can't be a bad thing. Okay. Now I'm gonna take, and we're gonna go e5 to trade off our double pawn after trading off the triple pawn. Um. This is a nice move. So if it takes, we have knight to e6. I like it. Let's do it. We can also potentially play e6 if he moves the king. We are low on time though. I want to go somewhere like e6, rook f1 and infiltrate. And then after e6, something like bishop f6 to try and take the knight. You can always take back for pawn and put the pawn on d5, which looks quite nice. Ooh, now that comes with tempo. And we're going to infiltrate. Knight b5 check is always a move, but here it's not that useful. I'm just going to keep it in our pocket. Let's... Here. Now if takes takes and rook f8, we have knight e6 check winning the rook. Seize it. Um, okay. King can't get closer, so he can't win the pawn. Yet. Yet, yet, yet. And he can go to e7. Then we have a check. Let's continue bringing the king in. I need to give Rook F3 to keep an eye on this though, which is kind of annoying. I want to put the king on D5. Because now this pawn will hang if he takes our pawn. Could have given a check to be fair. Give a check now. I don't think it does anything though. No, he's going to win this. What's the material? Equal. Damn. Oh my god, I've got no time. No time, no time, no time. Hmm. You could try and hunt the queenside pawns, though. The knight. Attack the bishop. Then we're going to put the knight on c7. One of those queenside pawns by force. That's nice. Let's try and get our king closer to the action to help defend. We can't take, but we can do this. Got no time, man. Oh, I just hung a knight. Damn it. <laughs> I have no time. Can I hold this? Hmm. No, I need to try trade the pawn. No. No! 
Ah! It was completely winning. It's completely winning. Ah! That's what I get for having no increment. That is my fault. And we're going to do it again because it's a bit more exciting to time scramble at the end, even if I am terrible at it. Ooh, okay. Three forms. Let's just go E6 and be solid. I've played this line a few times before. I feel like if I just go E6, C6, create a bit of a pawn shell, we're good. We do have to be careful for sacrifices on E6, so I'm going to open the bishop's defense up. But then I'm going to go H6 to stop anything from going to G5. What? Okay. I'm going to force a trade of pieces because we're forking them. You'll notice I haven't castled yet. We could take with a pawn. Let's take with the C pawn. Because we want to block this bishop's scope off. Now we could move his C pawn and bring his bishop back like that. Which would be nice for him. I think now we castle. I feel safe now. Maybe I shouldn't. He does have 95. What about E6? Really? I'm tempted to play A5 to set up Bishop A6. Let's do it. Give my rook a bit of room to breathe as well. And he fell for it. Let's go. Let's go. This isn't a move because of this. Dame Impala is definitely the vibe for this right now. Definitely. Yup. Dame Impala is always the vibe. I love that band. Um, it's not simple, you know. Because that pawn is very scary and very well protected. Now, if this bishop could transport itself to a6, I'd be a bit worried, but it's going to have to do that. He does see that plan. Now, bishop d6, knight e5. But, after knight e5, I might have knight h5. Yeah, and I can force this bishop off of the diagonal, so that when I take, he's forced to take with the pawn. That, I think, is good for me. I think it's good. I don't think he can really force my pieces away. Because if I can use c7... The problem is, here, here, b6 is quite weak. Queen f6... is a move. It is a move, but it feels like my queen should be closer to the action. So I'm considering queen c7. Let's play it. I don't really want to take the knight. If I wanted to do that, I would have gone to f6. And won it like that. Because if queen f6, knight f3, it's not the right way for him to be going. Or is a nice move. But now, there, there, there. It's very tempting. So if he takes the knight, I take the bishop. Which I think is good. See how right I am. But I think that's good. Whoa! Whoa! Where'd that come from? I should have seen that. Wait. Where did my minor pieces go? Oh, I'm up in exchange. <laughs> I, I, I was just like, hang on a second. Where are my minor pieces? Um, Queen F6 check. 
means that I can take the bishop with the queen. And then after here I can take. So my pawn structure isn't getting ruined. I just did a mini panic attack. I thought I was down a piece then. I forgot I already won the exchange. God. Okay. This is going well. This guy's rated 1970 as well. Okay. That's a blunder. Because this attacks the rook. I don't think he noticed. He did not notice. Now, I'm considering rook takes c6 here. Oh, he just resigned. But I was thinking rook takes c6 just to get all of his chances off the board. Yeah, that was a nice game. That was not bad. Not bad. This guy, rated 2014. Let's go for the A3 Sicilian. I want to change the song, though. Fan of this one. Borderline. Now that is a banger. Accept my gambit. Damn it. Accept my gambit. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Oh yeah. Now watch him put the bishop on e7. Watch him do it. He's gonna play bishop e7. We're gonna go d4. He's gonna go knight c6. I'm gonna play queen g4. And then he's going to panic. Because he's going to be like, huh, my g7 pawn is under attack. And I can't play bishop f6. Mm -hmm. Knight c6. Yep, queen g4. And now the panic. He goes, uh, 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 mm, g6. Boom. There we go. I'm a mind reader, Matt. I'm a mind reader. And now look at his position. Horrible. h6 isn't playable because of our sniper bishop from nowhere. It's a beautiful position. I don't think taking is good. I don't think you're supposed to take. Because then his pieces get activated. Like his bishop gets alive. His knight can come to f6. Here much happier. Okay. Now my f3 is just going to come with a tempo. What? The problem is, if bishop takes, queen takes, knight f3, he has queen c1. And that's a problem. So. Ooh. What if... Bishop takes, queen takes, knight a3, looking to go to b5, d6 or c7. That is dark squared bishop, I don't know how he stops that. And, get this, after the queen takes, knight a3, just checking, a6 isn't playable, because the pawn's pinned to the rook. We can just play it anyway. This is looking good. This is looking good. My opponent's high rated, you know, 2014. It's not bad. I don't know why. It doesn't show up for you guys. Maybe I can change the layout. But that would be far too much effort, right? Now I can play Knight F3. Now I can play it. This queen's almost trapped. Go here. But then... Take, take. I'd love to play queen h6, but then queen g2. Not a fan of that. Don't think that works. Now, if I take it. If I take it and then go knight g5. Considering queen g3, then a 
if he takes, I can take with the Beach Born. So that's a that's one way of going about it. Then I'm giving him a move. But if I take it and it takes, he has a move. He, I I have to make a move anyway. So this makes sense to me. Might not be the best. In fact, it probably isn't. But probably not bad. Probably not bad. I don't mind it. Okay. And now? Hmm. I guess I don't actually have a threat. Interesting. Not in a good way. Not a good interesting. But like, an annoying interesting. As in, I wish it was not interesting and was far more simple. How is he doing this? How is he doing this? Five is a fancy move. It doesn't threaten anything. Let's move over to one. Let's put some pressure. Put some pressure. I'm on a minute thirty. I did not realise. Oh no. I always do this. Every game. I go, how about we play no increment? And I'm like, yeah, what a great idea. I ran out of time inevitably. Don't want to trade. I'd rather hop around the position a bit. Oh, damn it, go away. Go away. is there, 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 and then try and win this. Let me have my fun. Oh, I've got no time, man. No time. This is uh, not great. Still down a pawn. The queens are going to come off the board. Nobody wants to take each other though. We spent seven moves staring at each other, man. Take. Let's go back. I went to g5, h6, just trap the knight. Don't want to be losing knights, but we now control c4 a bit better. c8 is very playable. But it could lead to skewers in the future. got a massive time advantage on us, which I'm not happy about. I want to try and trade to remove the defense of the rook so that knight to c5 is playable. Um, not good, not good. I need to get my king in. F2 is eternally weak because F3 isn't playable. Frustrating. Oh, on the bright side, this bishop is very passive. We've got a big weakness on c3. He arguably has a weakness on a7, as long as we can keep it under control. However, if it manages to advance too far, it's not going to be good. Okay, we'll take a draw. We'll take a draw. One. We'll draw with the chess centurion. Very passive. Can't take because the pawn's pinned. Now it's not. Now our king defends here. Double up. This isn't looking so bad anymore. We also have bishop e10. 
two to target this pawn. Our king is now playing a role. My only concern is if a rook comes to the f file, what we're going to do about this. But that's the question for future me to answer. Okay. And we win the pawn back. With compensation, as I far prefer our position. Our opponents. Let's go here. Hmm. I actually don't like that move. Bold. Very bold. Check. In again. Let's flag, let's flag, let's flag. I'm gonna flag him. Woo! Take. <laughs> oh, I can't believe we brought the time on that back. I did not deserve to, um, to win that game. I mean, we played well. Our opponent defended really nicely. Gotta give it to him. That was very impressive. Let's do another. I'm actually quite enjoying this no increment stuff. It's forcing me to play faster. I can't rely on just playing on increment. Our opponent's gonna be boring though. Ugh. Okay. I'll oblige. I'll oblige. I actually don't want to take with the ball. I'd like to keep this diagonal nice and closed, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay. Let's just continue developing. Uh-huh. Bishop b4, bishop b2, uh, d2 even. I don't see anything there. He takes our. Uh, ooh. Hmm. I don't want to take his nine. You know what I do like though? Like this. E5. Yeah, take the bishop. That's good. Good. Love this song. Man. Love this song. Now, what are you gonna do, bro? And because we have this pawn on c6, I feel very solid. Please don't take that out of context. Uh, okay. About this, you want to trade? Open up the A file for me. Okay. Valid. Valid. Now, do you want to open up the A file? Whew. No way. Dude, look at this bishop. How can you allow that? You can't take it, you're gonna have to go g5, bro. No, this isn't playable. Can't be. This bishop's just so strong. I don't I don't see what he does about it. Seven hangs. We get Queenside Castle. 
actually quite like that, you know. See, I want to play Queen A4 to pin this knight for end here and try and force him to castle to alleviate the pin. Because this king side is so weak. Maybe I could have castled king side there. Maybe that was better. Yeah, but here, this is what I was expecting. Oh, please. Chess. Fuck bomb. Please. Please. Okay, now I can just take. And then take. Okay. And this. Here, here. He is hanging on. F6 is tempting. I don't see any reason not to play it. Our bishop holds everything together. And these pawns are potentially very weak. So, get into them. Very high up on the priority list for sure. Okay, let's go King B8. Always play King B8. Just, just in case. Can't be a bad move. Well, if I take, he can't take. Because the knight hangs. Yeah, I don't think you thought this through, bro. Now, we could win a pawn like this, and we'll be at three pawns, but we have opposite coloured bishops, so I don't see why I bother with that. Let's not give him chances. Now let's take. Because I would like... I'd like to do this trade. And then push. And then push. And then push. That would be mate. If we had two moves in a row right now, he'd be in chat, mate. Oh, here, here. And then bishop there. Now maybe we can be a bit smarter about this. Try and involve this rook. We can push this pawn whenever we want, but the further we push it, the more vulnerable it will become. So let's make the preparations. Ooh. We but then this rook. There, 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 there. And then this hangs. This isn't a move because this is checkmate. Yep, attack the rook. Yo. She's gonna give it up, wow. Okay. Well, I won't say no. It'll be a bit rude. Now we're just gonna tie his pieces down. And this is not easy for our opponent to try and defend. move. Now we're going to attack this. And we could even just give this pawn up. Although, now we can push it. Yep. And now the problem for our opponent is he has to trade his rook off. Mm -hmm. And then we push. And then we push. And then we push. Let's play a fancy move. Cut off the connection. Don't even take it. It's not threatening anything. Again, we don't need to take it. Let's just promote. And there we go. That was kind of... That was a nice game. That was a nice game. Very happy with that one. 
let's go again. We're up to 2025. Which ain't bad. This opponent's rated 1900. And we're gonna get the Papa Take You Lat Gambit. Ridiculous name, I know. He doesn't accept it. He was knight f6, which is a move. But, 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 but. We are going to play. The, well, the setup is f4, queen g4, knight f3. I'm deciding between queen g4 and f4. I don't know if it makes a difference. I guess the only difference. Oh, I just allowed bishop e7. I just allowed bishop e7. Okay, he didn't play it. Cool. Yeah, the problem is I, I should play queen g4 first, so bishop e7 I can take. The problem is if f4, bishop e7, queen g4, castle. I still like my position, but here I'm restricting him from castling queenside. It's a common idea to go queenside in these positions. That might be his plan. Now, I'm not really worried about castle, c4, check. Castle, c4, check. King h1. Really? Why would you do that? Okay, let's move our king preemptively. Just because we can. Is the rest of our development isn't that easy. Oh, that's an ugly move, bro. Oh, are you trying to go bishop e7 in castle queen side? Maybe. But I feel like we can restrict that. Now, first, we're going to threaten this. So, a6 probably is a must play move. So that is what we're hoping for, that our opponent doesn't see it. Yeah, he can't defend d6. Because this knight has got the classic two diagonal squares away, which takes forever to get involved. And the bishop is cut off. So now we're going to win this. Checking there's nothing better. We're going to take pork the rooks. d6 is weak, this should be In, you know, there's actually a better move. We can take and then bring the bishop <laughs> back to b6. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> so unnecessary. This is so unnecessary. Okay, okay, if takes. Then takes comes with check and we lose the queen, but... Oh wow! What a move! Here... Here, here, there... 
What? Where's that come from? There, there. Can't do that. Wait. No. Wait. There, there. Knight takes rook. Yeah. Bingo. Bingo. He had me very scared. He had me very scared. But I think we can take it because if pawn takes, we take the rook, and this move no longer comes with check because we, do, we don't move the king. And that means we can take his queen. We, shouldn't, we should end up with a ton of material up. And it's important this queen defends the bishop. Okay, I'd be lying if I said I calculated all that, but the thing is, the rook is hanging. Um, yeah, that's a move. We're up so much material, though. It's not even funny. Um, let's just go here. got to take the knight, because otherwise we're going to escape. Yep. Let's go here. This pawn is dying. He can't do anything about it. I could take the knight, but... Need to. Yeah, I'm going to leave it. Leave it. I want him to take me, because then my bishop gets to c4 square, which is quite nice. Okay. Okay. And what about this? What about that? I'll quite happily take the pawn if you're going to offer it. I'm surprised he hasn't resigned, to be honest. His bishop's completely out of the game as well, so there's that. I'm actually going to take, I know we can save the pawn now, but then we get a past e-pawn. And that's far more valuable. We can't push it straight away because the knight's going to hang in the long run. What? What? Why are you giving me a knight? Why are you giving me a knight? No, Rook H8 doesn't do anything, bro, please. But maybe he's trying to flag me. Ah, that's what it is. Okay, let's just play a bit quicker. It's not a bad strategy because I am easily flagged. <laughs> so he's probably got it, got it all figured out. Yep. Oh, that was a mouse slip. Oh, it's fine actually, because the pawn promotes if he takes our rook. I wish that was planned. <laughs> what a move! What a move! <laughs> wow, accidentally playing some brilliant moves here. This is just what you get from a chess centurion stream. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you, but that was very nice. Oof! Next game, next game. Let's go for a slab. Oh yeah. I see three knight f6. Okay. I think this is theory. I hope it's theory. Oh, it's just a London now. Okay. Okay, bro. You get your London. Hope you're happy. I'm certainly not. If he takes, we take with the e pawn so that we maintain control over b5. <sighs> God, I hate the London. I mean, I did kind of allow it, so it's kind of my fault, but. What a weird move. You know what? 
I'm gonna try and force you to play B4 now. I want you to play B4. Just so you don't have this stupid setup. Just out of spite. I don't even like the fact that he could put a pawn on B4. I'm just doing it to spite him. Yeah. And I'm just gonna go all the way back. I don't even care. I literally don't care. Okay. B6 is our way to break out. But first we're gonna castle. Because I'm a principled man. Yes, that's a move, but what about b6 and a5? Ugh. I'm not gonna lie, I have no idea what to do. Knight e5, e4. It's a move. Whether it's a good move or not, I don't know. We could actually let him take us and then secure the e4 square for the knight and open up the e file for the rook. Yeah, we're gonna do that. I'm gonna pretend like I know this structure. It might be a valid way of playing. Now we're gonna throw a knight on e4 and act like a grandmaster. I most certainly am not. If there was any confusion. Um, okay. We give up the d6 square. But if the bishop ever goes there, we can just go rook e8. It's whatever. If he takes here, I want to take with the knight. Then I want, to put the, I want to put the knight on c4. I feel like we've got a lot of pressure going on here. Whether it's going to amount to anything is another question. Here we have to take. I think I prefer my position though. Because I can just block off the C file, so the weak C6 pawn is irrelevant. Hmm. This is one weak pawn, bro. Now he does have bishop d6. Ooh. Really, really. Now, I don't want to take this bishop. C6 is going to hang if I do that. The bishop does control b8, which is frustrating. Hmm. This actually isn't easy, because he's going to play rook b1. The F rook, I mean. He's going to try and infiltrate. So, let's begin with this to control our second rank. I'm not happy. I thought I was happy, but I'm not happy. Whoa! Whoa! You're going to well have rook B7? If you insist... No, he's misplaying this. He's gotta be. We're getting way too much play. I, he should've just played rook b1. I don't understand. Cuz... Whoa. Dude. Why are you letting me do this to you? Ton of pressure on. It should be six isn't a move because the knight covers it, which is beautiful. We can't win the pawn. I know. 
But what can we do? What can we do? Maybe we can't do anything. Ooh. Actually. Actually, we can do this. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. There we go. Stage two. Oh, we can't actually take it. Okay. Now, let's see what that does, though. To be honest. I mean, it's a move, but I don't see what it does. We need to create a Luftfrau King, just in case. G6 isn't as good because it gives... Dark squared weaknesses, and he's got a dark squared bishop. What? Oh, wow, I missed that. I'm not even that mad. At least I don't think I am. Let's take with the rook. Oh, I missed rook takes. I thought we had to play king takes. Hmm. <laughs> Material's technically equal, but white is so much better here. So much better. My knight isn't really doing anything. If the knight was an e4... Maybe we can do that. Yeah, let's put the knight on e4. Got zero bloody time again. I just never... Oh. Stop making good moves, bro. Please. Please. Stop it. God damn it, man. Ah, uh, Queen B3 was way better. Uh, Queen B3 was such a better move. So we could have taken the Rook. Hmm. Hmm. I have no time. Doesn't even matter. I'm going to have to pre-move. <laughs> and that pre-move just cost me the game. Yeah, I think... I think back here... Um, I think Queen B3. Yeah, computer agrees. I'm holding on here. Because I attack both of these at once. I'm also defending that, but more importantly, you know, if he gives a check, his queen has to stay defending the rook, and if a, ro if a move like rookie 2 probably just invade, something like this, maybe I can even trade, but there's no need, again I maintain a vision on the rook, and this is just a draw, you can see the computer evaluation. I'm annoyed I missed that. That is annoying. But we continue forth nonetheless. Nonetheless. Another Slav. I mean, it went well last game. We just messed it up. Well, I messed it up. You didn't mess it up. Don't take the blame for my bad moves. That's just a bad move. Why did I do that? I don't even know if this is a move. I might have just blundered horribly. I mean, our pawn structure is terrible. But we've got an open rook. Our bishop also controls b8, which is nice.
Bishop b5 check is an issue. Dude. I don't have anything better. What is this? C8? I don't want to put my rook on C8, but the alternative is bishop back. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, let's boot the knight. This isn't so bad now. I'm a bit happier. Knight isn't threatening anything. Next move is King F7. F3? I don't really understand. I wasn't going to put a bishop there anyway. Because then you could go F3 with a tempo. And now um, a knight has movement. Which is lovely. Something feels off about my opponent's position, but I don't know what. I'm going to start with this. Just to put some pressure on. We've got the doubled isolated b pawns, but it's tough for him to actually take advantage of it. <sighs> okay. Okay, b3 isn't playable. That was the problem before I didn't want to play knight a5 because of b3, but now he can't play it. He takes with the bishop. I might actually take with the rook. Ooh. Dude. Dude. What? See this, if knight c5, bishop takes c5, pawn takes c5, rook takes c5, we take the knight. But if knight c4, bishop takes c4, pawn takes c4, and the knight moves to like f2, then b5, I'm not sure. Whereas if knight b3, rook c2, ooh, then rook c8. We can do that. Takes a bit of fun. Ugh. Ugh. Why have I allowed this? How have I allowed this? You know what we're going to do? We're actually going to take the knight. I'm going to put it into an, into an opposite coloured bishop endgame. And we're going to claim that he can't win it. Because he probably can't. Because, I mean, he's got an advantage. He's got active... Ro Ooh. Okay. I guess that was hanging. But now I can do this. And... There's nothing. I'm considering rook to a5 to attack the bishop, but then a4, so... <laughs> that might actually win the pawn. Oh, wait, no. We can just go like that. Put the pawns on dark squares. I'm going to offer him a draw. Dude, come on. It's opposite colored bishops. 
Maybe he wants to flag me. Maybe that's the strategy. Let's go here and here. Good move. Um, I'm so getting flagged, man. <laughs> I don't think he has a way in, though. I don't think he has a way in. He's just got no entry point for anything. Our king defends the two light squared pawns, so... Oh. Dude, what are you commenting about? What, what are you on about? Why are you talking about We're the Millers? I mean, it's a good film, but still. I don't see what he's going to do. No, I'm not searching it up. What are you on about? I don't need to search up a kissing scene, bro. Come on. We're all adults. Um, let's actually try and get the bishop around. And then bring the king back to d6. Then here. He's gonna flag me. I'm so getting flagged. Don't flag me. Oh, I should have played bishop to c1. It was a mistake. Okay. Now it's not as good. Bishop c1 before and his king couldn't move over. Oh, now it works. Nice. Let me force the pawn to go to f5. And there is nothing. Position is dead. Yep. Repeat. Please, please, please. Have mercy. Have mercy. All we have to do is keep an eye on that pawn. Don't let his king move. He doesn't have a way in anyway, but... Go on! No way. Yes! Let's go. Dude, can you shut up? What? You are so getting banned. Idiot, man. Idiot. Alright. We did not deserve that at all. What is this? What is this? Um, let's do a double fianchetto. Because that is some alpha stuff. I want to play f4. Okay, now we play f4, because he can't take, because the knight. Bro, you're going to lose a pawn. going to lose a pawn. You can play this. An h3 is knight e3. Four king. But we can start with queen d3. Still can't take. Bishop g7. The pawn's still pinned. The pawn's still pinned, bro. I'm gonna win the pawn. Bishop g7 was not the move. I think he probably had to go f6. Which isn't a really ugly move, but... Let's go. Let's go. So, game isn't over yet, obviously. Let's develop. Um, probably castle.
Dude, where is your knight gonna go? C8? This looks horrible for my opponent. This castle puts some more pressure on the knight. If he lets us... I mean, we could have played queen d4 or queen c3 on the previous move, but... Yeah, let's just take. I'm down to clown. This is... Oh, if only we had this move. I feel like we should have more here. Oh! But then bishop to f5. But then we have bishop e4. The point is, if he defends this with a move like f5, whoa, bro. Bro, 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 bro. You're missing the bigger picture. Missing the bigger picture. That is not what you're supposed to be doing in that position. Now, clean up crew. We have a few moves. Sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. Which one do we like best? This is bishop to um, e4, rook to f2. Mm. Let's keep it simple. Let's keep it simple. We're threatening to take the rook with our rook. So he's going to have to trade rooks. And then we threaten rook to f8. He could play knight e takes d6. So that the queen defends the rook. But then queen g7 is mate. So... I don't know what he plays. I don't think he has a defense. And if worse comes to worst, we can bring our bishop to e4 threaten something on h7. I think knight h5 is probably the best move. Whoa! Whoa! What is that? What about this? What about this? Whoa! Where's your rook going, buddy? Maybe I had a mate. Just seeing if I do. Ah, oh, screw it. Let's just take a piece. Let's just take a piece. I'm a. I'm not a particularly picky man when it comes to a potential force checkmate or a free piece. You know, a piece is a piece at the end of the day. Um. Well, if you insist that I take a pawn, then it'd be rude not to. Stop defending! Stop defending yourself. There's no need. Stop it. I'm gonna sack the knight because of this. He did actually have queen d4 forking the king and the rook previously as well. Wouldn't have been cool if I'd have uh, fell for that. Like obviously here he's now potentially threatening it as well as threatening the knight. Rook f1. And if the king's ever checked the king just goes to h2 and the checks run out. I think I'm just up what a piece and a couple pawns. Now we could actually just take the knight and be... That'd only be actually two minor pieces for a rook. So... Let's go here. 
So we get a knight to f6. Which is going to cause some issues. Going to cause some issues. So let's see what he tries to do. Okay, let's just do it. Stop screwing around. Um. Kind of a fancy move is knight e8. Might actually work, you know. we again threaten the knight. The knight's also controlling the g7 square, which is very important. Could we have gone to h5? H h5? Probably. But it's not as cool. Uh, this is just mate. This is just mate. King has two options, and then queen g7 is checkmate regardless of where he goes. Let's go for one more game. My riveting stream with so many viewers. Mm. Gotta love it. At least I get some clips from it. You might even be watching those clips now. This is a weird way to play. Normally the pawn goes here. Really? Now we can't take it, okay. But what about a6? If you're gonna go on a pilgrimage just to trade knights, then I'm down to clown. Whoa! What's that? This guy is playing the weirdest moves. I just don't get it. I'd like him to take me. Yeah, now he gets C3 in, but... The pawn structure is just a bit weird. Okay. Maybe maybe C seven was better. Whoa, really? That doesn't look good. Dude, you're just gonna give me a pawn. H two is hanging, you know. I do know that. Well now you do. You know what I think is a good move? It's Queen C7. Getting back on the diagonal. And that's a very good move. And our king can always be quite safe on E7, D7, F8. Yeah, I kind of expected this, but it's going to take it. Go up two pawns to the good. <sighs> Here we could trade. We could also play knight to g4 check. And if king to g1, then queen h7 is mate. But knight g4, king e2. I don't have anything. Knight g4, king e2. Yeah, I don't really have any firepower. Let's just trade. Oh, maybe Queen H4 was a move. Whatever. Whatever. King E7. I'm gonna play A5 to get the pawn off of the bishop's scope. That's a good move, though. F8. 
Fair play. That's a good move. A5, B5. Although, we can just take it. And then get on the C file. Yeah, I'm not really worried about rook takes, because the king is a hideaway on d6, so... Now we dominate both of the open files. Our opponent, I feel like, has misplayed this. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Um, how to prove our advantage. How to prove it. I think we just double up. Take it. <laughs> and now this is very difficult to defend. You can't push either because the bishop hangs. And our king is very, very safe on f8. Here, d6 isn't as good because there's no c pawn to protect it. F8 is just fine. Rook H1 is a move. Actually, Rook H1... Rook A takes C3. Rook H8, Knight G8. King E2. That's quite good for us. We just have to not blunder some stupid mate. So I'm going to do this. Wait, what? What? Am I missing something? Kind of like building a bridge when you try and promote a pawn, but like laterally rather than vertically. Yeah, this is fine. We're up three pawns. He has no checks. Let's threaten this. Also, we can we, we give our king the f6 square, which will be really safe. Now nah, rook can go. Go harass the enemy king. I mean, if you want to take, then... I won't say no. So then we're going to go win the G-pawn. Okay, thanks to the rook. And there's the resignation now. Boom. Beautiful. 